Hi, Banana Recap here. Today I am going to explain a film called Damage. The movie begins with a man named Stefan. He was a doctor before he joined politics. Now, he is a successful politician and the cabinet minister. He lives in a house in London with his wife Ingrid and his daughter Sally. He also has a son named Martin, a young journalist. One day Stefan is at a party where he meets a young girl named Anna. She is the girlfriend of his son Martin. However, Stefan doesn't know that they talk for a while, and when Stefan is busy with other people, he is constantly thinking about Anna. On the other hand, Anna is also feeling the same for Stefan. After a few days, Martin brings Anna to meet his family. Stefan and Anna pretend as if they are meeting for the first time. One day Stefan receives a call from Anna. They talk and Anna gives Stefan an address and tells him to meet me there. Stefan went to that address and met Anna, they both know what is going to happen now. Stefan can't control himself and starts kissing her. After a while, Stefan strips her, and they make love. Later after a passionate love session, Stefan realizes that his relationship with Anna is wrong in so many ways. However he is so in love with Anna that he doesn't care. Some days pass and Martin gets a promotion. Stefan and his whole family are sitting at the dinner table to celebrate Martin's promotion. Anna is also present there. Martin's mother asks Anna about her family, Anna tells them that she had a brother, and he committed suicide a few years ago. Martin's mom asks him the reason, Anna replies that he was in love with someone. After dinner, Martin drops Anna at her house and come back. We can see Stefan was watching them from a distance. When he sees Martin leaving, he went inside Anna's home. Stefan tells Anna that I wanted to kiss you at the dinner table, I wanted to touch you, and I can't stay away from you. Anna replies that we will be together, don't worry. They are madly in love with each other, they start doing this. After a passionate love session, Anna reveals that her family used to move from one place to another, and that's why my brother used to take care of me. After some time, care changed into love, he was so possessive about me. He started loving me so much, he committed that for me. Because he wanted to have an intimate relationship, she was so disturbed after her brother's end. Anna tells Stefan that let our relationship be like this, don't try to change anything. Later, when Stefan talks to his wife she tells him that Martin and Anna are on vacation in Paris, Stefan is sad to hear that. Later we see Stefan, he can't concentrate on anything because of Anna, and that's why he decides to go to Paris in the hope that he will meet Anna. Stefan calls Anna and asks her to meet at a place. Anna leaves Martin sleeping alone in the room, she went to meet Stefan. After a while, they meet and start kissing. Stefan tells Anna that I love you so much and can't stay away from her. Anna tells him that Martin is alone at the hotel, I must go. She leaves however Stefan is desperate, and he can't stay away. He follows her to the hotel, and takes a room in the same hotel where Martin and Anna are staying. He can see them from his room. One day when Martin and Anna are doing this, Stefan watches them from his room. For a moment he smiles and then start crying like a baby. After some days, Stefan calls Anna and asks her to meet. When they meet, Anna tries to explain to Stefan that we cannot meet like this. She only wants to spend time with Stefan in bed, she is not interested in romantic relationships. However, Stefan is madly in love with her. He is ready to leave his wife for her. Anna tries to explain and tell him that if you leave your wife, you will destroy your family. If you want to leave her for me don't do it. I will be with you for life once I am married to your son. One day when Stefan went to meet Anna, he sees a man named Peter at her house. Peter is Anna's ex-boyfriend and childhood friend. Stefan gets angry and leaves her house. After some time, when Peter leaves, Stefan comes back to her house. Stefan asks Anna about Peter. Anna explains that Peter was her first love and one day her brother saw them together in a car while doing bang bang. Her brother got angry because Anna and her brother were in an intimate relationship, and that's why he couldn't tolerate anyone else touching Anna. That's why her brother committed that. After her brother's death Peter took care of Anna and they had a good time together. Stefan feels sad to hear that and comforts Anna. Later, Stefan and his family go to Ingrid's father's house, because it's her birthday, Martin invites Anna there. During dinner, Martin announces that she will be marrying Anna. Everyone is happy, except for Ingrid and Stefan. Ingrid doesn't like Anna, because she is silent and very secretive. It seems as if she is hiding something big, on the other hand, Stefan loves Anna, and he doesn't want anyone else to marry her. At night when everyone is sleeping in their rooms, Stefan and Anna meet and do this. When Stefan comes out of the room his daughter Sally sees him. The next day Stefan tries to explain to Sally that he and Ingrid don't like Anna and don't want her to marry Martin, and that's why I went to her room to tell her this. Sally believes him and leaves. Later we see Anna and her mom are here to meet Martin's family, and his mom talks to Martin and likes him so much. She tells them that Anna always dates the wrong man. I am happy that this time she has made a good decision. While talking, she tells them that Martin and Anna's brother look completely the same, and that's why she chose Martin. Everyone feels weird to hear that. Anna feels angry and tells her mom to stop. Her mom also feels bad because she has ruined the whole dinner. 
Later, Stefan takes Anna's mom to her hotel. On the way, Anna's mom tells him that Anna is happy these days, and I don't want anyone to destroy her happiness. Stefan asks her that I don't understand what you are trying to say. She replies that I know everything about you and Anna. On the dinner table both of you weren't even looking at each other hiding a secret. She tells him to stop whatever is going between you and Anna, or you will destroy so many lives. Later, Stefan calls in and ends their relationship for good. However Stefan is disturbed and distracted all the time. One day Stefan receives a package, and when he opens it he finds a key and address inside. The package was from Anna. To keep her relationship with Stefan, Anna bought a new apartment to have some private time. After some days, Martin brings Anna home for the wedding preparations. When Stefan and Anna are alone, Anna tells Stefan if I wanted to leave you why would I marry your son, I want to be with you, and that's why I am marrying your son. She tells him that everything will be the same between them. Later, when Stephen and Anna meet at that new apartment they start kissing and lay down on the bed and start making love. Meanwhile, Stefan doesn't realize that he has forgotten the key in the door. On the other hand, we see Martin. He was also there in the building searching for Anna. He reaches the door and sees the key inside, he opens the door and sees his father in bed with his girlfriend. He is shocked, Martin doesn't understand anything and walks backward and falls down the stairs. Shocked, Stefan comes to Martin and holds him. Later the news of Martin's death and Stephen's affair spread in the whole city like a wildfire. Stefan comes home and his wife tells him that Martin had no idea about the apartment. The landlord informed him of Anna, that's why he went there. I am glad it happened, I don't know how long you would have cheated on me and Martin. She feels so sad and starts crying. She is so angry at Stefan, she hits him and tells him that he should have died, not Martin. The next day when Ingrid asks Stefan if you have ever loved me, Stefan has no answer to that question. Later we see Stefan resign from his job due to his reputation. He went to meet Anna however Anna doesn't want to talk to him. Later we see Stefan after some years. He misses Anna and his son Martin. Stefan says, there is nothing bigger than love. Stefan has destroyed all his family because of Anna. In the end, Stefan says that he saw Anna last time at the airport, she was with Peter, and she has a child too and lives her life happily. On the other hand, Stefan is left alone with nothing but misery and guilt. Please like and subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.